What is the total amount that the Kardashians have spent on plastic surgery alone? Kim K. Nose job, $5,550. Getting a larger backside, $10,000 to $25,000. Breast augmentations, approximately $5,000. Botox, at minimum, $1,500. Ooh, don't get me started on Kylie. A questionable amount of Botox and lip filler, $20,000. Again, another nose job, $5,550. Sizable breast augmentation, $15,000. A larger boot, hey, $25,000. Unpopular opinion, the non important Kardashians, Chloe, Courtney, and Kendall. Body transformations, $50,000 each. Breast augmentations, $10,000 each. Facial surgery, $15,000 each. Fillers, $15,000 annually. Botox, $5,000 annually. Annual maintenance, $20,000. Fun jobs that pay a lot. Mattress testers get up to $56,000 a year. Chocolate taste testers up to $40,000 a year. Writers for fortune cookies between $40,000 to $80,000 a year. Ice cream testers up to $60,000 a year. Canadian Facts with Zach. So this one's hilarious. So uh, classic Canada. Canada actually has a maple syrup reserve in case of emergency. So we just have like a bunch of maple syrup stashed up like Joseph from the Old Testament. <laughs>more likely to win an Olympic gold medal or be hit by a meteorite than win the lottery. So how does Stefan Mandel win the lottery 14 times? Mandel was a Romanian mathematician in the 60s. He desperately wanted to get out of communist Romania and so he hatched a crazy plot. He realized that you can just buy every single combination of the lottery. And if the jackpot is sufficiently high enough, you're almost guaranteed to make a profit. So Mandel won the lottery twice in Romania and then got out and won it an additional 12 times around the world. In 1992, he hit his biggest jackpot ever, $28 million in the Virginia State Lottery. After that, the government got wise and they outlawed the bulk buying of lottery tickets. So unfortunately, Mandel could never win again, but sitting on millions of dollars, I'm sure he was not complaining. Ever wonder what causes hiccups? Daily Doctor Facts. First, let's look at the mediastinum, which is the chest cavity that has the lungs, the heart, and right below it, the diaphragm. Now, behind the lungs, as is shown here, is this massive network of nerves that run along the heart and go down to the diaphragm. And the diaphragm is what separates your chest cavity from your abdominal cavity. Now, there are certain nerves that help control the diaphragm, like the phrenic nerve here and the vagal nerve. And when these nerves get irritated, they can cause the diaphragm to spasm. Again, this is with the lungs put back on, but when the diaphragm spasms, it pushes up against the lungs, causes a forcing out of air, and causes us to hiccup. So when you eat a really spicy meal, it triggers those nerves and causes that diaphragm to spasm. Guinness Beer Company, after declining in pubs for the first time, realized that a lot of people were talking about trivia at the bar and literally created the Guinness Book of World Records to get you to talk about trivia in a pub and use the word Guinness so that you would subconsciously reorder a Guinness in the pub. This is super interesting to me. My dog literally copies everything I do. When I look at the ceiling, she looks at the ceiling. When I bark, she barks. Oof. When I cry, she cries. Random facts about Japan, part three. Today I'm gonna to show you guys our crazy recycling schedule. This is an example of my recycling schedule. Each color represents a category of items that need to be taken out to the trash that day. These are the nine categories of things we separate our trash into. Here's three of our trash cans. I have three more trash cans in here. And we have one outside for dog poop. Each category is also color coded into a trash bag. On top of that, we have to put our name in Japanese on the trash bags. That way, if we do it wrong, they return it to our house. So if you hate taking out the trash, Japan may not be the place for you because we have to take the trash out every morning before 8.30. I have to take the trash out in the morning. It's not allowed to sit out there overnight. And now I'm going to walk to show you where we put our trash. Your trash has to be taken to designated neighborhood spots like this one. The tarps will lay over all the trash bags. 
All right, you guys are gonna absolutely lose it with the fun facts about money. Money is dirty. Did you know 90% of all money has traces of cocaine on it? It's also dirtier than your toilet. Think about the next time you touch it. Pennies are expensive to make. Did you know it costs two cents to make a penny? Good old Abe. Do you want to become an overnight billionaire? Just move to Zimbabwe. One US dollar is worth 2.6 billion Zimbabwe dollars. Unfortunately, a loaf of bread costs 10 billion Zimbabwe dollars. Did you know Pablo Escobar was making so much money he spent $2,500 a month just on rubber bands alone to hold his money together? Did you know rats strangely like the taste of money? In fact, Pablo Escobar actually lost a billion dollars to rats eating money in his warehouse, but it didn't matter to him. All right, last one. Did you know if you have $10 in your pocket and you have no debt, you're considered wealthier than 25% of all Americans? That means you're wealthier than 81 million people. So I'm a science nerd and sometimes when I'm bored, I really love to give people random cool facts and they're like, oh, that's so nice. And I love to give them another fact that just immediately ruins the fact I gave them. So for example, I would say something like, oh, sea otters hold hands when they fall asleep so they don't drift apart in the water. And the person's like, oh, that's so cute. And then I hit him with this. Sea otters also rape baby seals. <laughs> or okay, here's another one. When it rains, the humidity just actually opens up your Olaf factory pores. So you just smell everything better. So when people say they like the smell of rain, they're really just smelling everything at a higher sense. And people are like, oh my god, yes, I love the smell of rain. And I'll be like, it's also why farts smell worse in the shower. <laughs> I'm in a good mood, so here are some fun facts about me. Not that anyone cares, but... The first two facts will be mainly interesting to Norwegians or Scandinavians. I was Ruth. And last year, I was at a Fulkehuskule. I am a huge musical theatre fan. To the point where before I really got into languages, uh, I was planning to go and do musical theatre at university. The Phantom of the Opera is there. I play the guitar, but it's self-taught, so I'm not that good. I'm not that great, but I really love editing. Editing? Revamping? Clothes that I buy secondhand. I love crocheting. Or heckling, as they call it in Norwegian, which is a much better name. I am an IB student, which means I did the International Baccalaureate Diploma. Ew. I have thalophobia. Look it up, I don't want to talk about it. I am a pescatarian. I would be vegetarian, but it, it's a long story. Unless it's melted, I hate cheese and I will not touch it with a 10-foot pole. Most people believe that Navy SEALs are just people that are able to handle stress better than other people. Like it's an innate ability. But in reality, it's not. It's something that is trained during SEAL training. And as a candidate, if you aren't able to master stress management, you really can't be a Navy SEAL and it comes out in training. And so the exercise that we use to prepare ourselves for high stress situations, whether that's a training exercise or combat, is a thing called box breathing. You breathe in for four seconds, you use your diaphragm to do it, you hold that breath for four seconds, then you breathe out on a slow four count for another four seconds, and then you hold with all the air out of your lungs for four seconds. And you repeat that loop five or six times, and what that does is it turns down your sympathetic reaction, which is the fight or flight reaction, and it turns up your parasympathetic nervous system, which is responsible for rest, relaxation, peace, and it restores harmony to mind and body. Give it a shot.